同庆，孝贤，孝穆，慈安，慈禧。My name is Daisy Yeo Wang. I'm the Robert N. Shapiro Curator of Chinese and East Asian Art at the Peabody Essex Museum in Salem, Massachusetts. I'm also the co-curator of this groundbreaking exhibition titled Empresses of China's Forbidden City, which is the first major international exhibition to look at the role and influence of women inside the Forbidden City from the 17th century to the early 20th century in China's Qing Dynasty. But this is truly the first time that we take a very focused look on um, imperial women, particularly empresses, um, during the Qing Dynasty. So I would say a, a couple of exciting discoveries or recollections for me is I was constantly surprised that uh, although women were not supposed to rule, um, but they always find ways to um, claim their power to influence people around them, both men and women. Um, and also I'm constantly surprised by, um, yes, the history, the official court history written by men and from emperor's point of view, but always I was surprised about, by um, how much records actually we also have about them. Um, for example, um, one empress is called um, uh, the Empress Xiaoxian. Um, she was living in the 18th century and she was married to the world's most powerful ruler, her husband, the Chenlo Emperor. And even though she did not leave a lot of historical records or diary about herself, even from her husband's point of view that he not only loved her, but also respected her intelligence, respect her virtues, um, and respect her diligence. Um, so I think, you know, I think it really shifted my way to think about, to look at the Forbidden City, because previously a lot of objects I look at it, I did not really put a gender lens. I would just take for granted the best objects were used by the emperor. Um, but through this exhibition, we also found that some of the most spectacular treasures from the Forbidden City were made by or about or for women. So I think that is something um, constantly surprises me and uh, makes me really happy.